Our study, which investigated gait abnormalities and ridden horse behaviour, was a collaborative study performed by Jenny Routh, formerly a junior clinician at the Animal Health Trust, Anne Bondi, British Horse Society instructor, and Danica Pollard, an epidemiologist, together with myself. An ethogram is a catalogue of behaviours, each with strict definitions. For example, ears back for five seconds or more. The ridden horse pain ethogram was developed to facilitate the horse owning public, trainers, veterinarians, and other paraprofessionals to identify the presence of musculoskeletal pain in ridden horses. It comprises 24 behaviours, the majority of which are at least 10 times more likely to be seen in a lame horse rather than a non-lame horse. The presence of eight or more behaviours is likely to reflect the presence of musculoskeletal pain, although some lame horses score less than eight. The median score for non-lame horses in previous studies was only two out of 24. The objectives of the current study were to compare horses' gaits in hand and when ridden by two independent assessors. To assess static and dynamic saddle fit for each horse and rider, and to apply the ridden horse pain ethogram and relate the findings to gait abnormalities consistent with musculoskeletal pain, rider position and balance, and saddle fit for both horse and rider. Data were acquired prospectively from a convenient sample of 148 horses believed by their owners to be working comfortably. Static tack fit and movement of the saddle during ridden exercise were recorded. Rider position, balance and size relative to the saddle were also documented. The ridden horse pain ethogram was applied retrospectively to video recordings. And ultimately, Poisson regression analysis was used to determine factors which influenced the ridden horse pain ethogram scores. There was a surprisingly high proportion of lame horses. 28.4% were lame in hand, whereas 62.2% were lame ridden, and this difference was statistically significantly different. 60% of the 148 horses showed gait abnormalities in canter, such as close temporal and spatial placement of the hind limbs. The median ridden horse pain ethogram score was 8 out of 24, with an interquartile range of 5 to 9. The overall range of scores was between 0 and 15. There was a positive association between lameness and the ridden horse pain ethogram score. Saddles with tight tree points and riders seated at, the, seated at the back of the saddle rather than the middle were associated with higher ridden horse pain ethogram scores. Noseband fit and type are a controversial issue and were also assessed and compared with mouth opening during ridden exercise. Read the paper to find out more. In conclusion, there was a high prevalence of lameness and abnormalities of canter in ridden horses. Lameness may be missed if horses are not assessed ridden, and this is of particular importance for pre-purchase examinations and when assessing horses with a history of poor performance. There was a disturbingly high proportion of horses with ill-fitting saddles, and clearly there is a need for owner education. The study emphasised the importance of rider position for ridden horse comfort, and it reinforced the value of the ridden horse pain ethogram for recognition of musculoskeletal pain. I believe that the study also shows that we need a multifactorial approach to improve ridden horse performance and equine welfare. Read the paper to find out more.
I am particularly grateful to World Horse Welfare, who provided financial support for the statistical analysis.